What's up guys, Lawn here, Prodigy Lawn Maintenance. Welcome back to my channel for the 2023 landscaping setup. Everybody's doing one. I feel like um, I'm inclined to do one as well. So uh, to get it started, um, 2018 Tacoma SR5 um, pulls my seven by 14 uh, enclosed covered wagon. Um, before you guys say anything in the comments, just know it's re-geared. There's a whole bunch of other stuff done to it. Um, it's completely capable. I do want to mention, just because it, it's out in the open right here, but all Morimoto lighting on this thing. Love it. Shouts out to Morimoto. I even have the rock lights and some pretty cool neon uh, in the grill. And just a quick sneak peek if you want to see. So, anyways, no big deal. Um, I would show you guys the inside, but that is a whole nother video. There's just too much to speak about. Um, to the trailer, I've got pretty much everything I offer listed right here. It's also on both sides. Um, I chose to do vinyl on the trailer, um, just vinyl decals instead of a full wrap. One, it's a lot less expensive and two i think in the state of georgia you have to like register with dot if it's a wrap compared to vinyl i don't know but if so i'm safe um also shout out to fireside graphics if you're in the athens area uh call mike he is awesome to work with really cares does a great job very fast and attentive so thanks mike um but this is me wheeling my bad boy mower. In all actuality, I can't do that because the center of gravity is so low and it just holds hills like a monster. But it's, it makes good it makes good signage. Anyways, and my husky weed eater. So, come on though. Uh, oh, great idea. Anybody? This was from Mike, by the way. He's the one who told me about this. Um, the new the QR code thing uh, that goes straight to your website, Instagram, Facebook, whatever, YouTube. Um... He can make them bigger where people can get it at a distance and stuff because nobody can actually always like read your stuff riding down the road if they're like say on the other side of the median. I thought it was a good idea and it's like not really much extra so anyways just a thought. Um, also shout out to Proven Industries. The puck locks work like a champ. Not expensive and their anodized look cool. A lot of guys in the industry use them. Um, I think they work great, so if anybody's wondering, they're worth the money. Um, and then, same thing over here. What I do, um, I mean, there's not much else. It's just a 7x14 covered wagon. I think this is the perfect size. 7x12, I think is a little too short. For two mowers, um, aka what I'm doing, um, and then I think 16 foot, this is already enough to try to maneuver in small spots. Um, I'm not going any bigger, and I don't think you necessarily need to. Anyways, come on in. Let me show you what I'm talking about. Okay, and now for the inside. Um, I guess we should start with, this is my other mower, the 36 inch Revolt. Um, same thing as the 54, 36 inch deck. Love it, 2023 does great um only thing i changed on it was i put different tires on it instead of the um the super aggressive ones that it comes with works out better for me um but this is for small gates and backyards and stuff like that so shoot blocker gotta have it um going back here i keep all of my shovels and hard rake stuff like that on the green touch industries um, rack right there made for it works great uh, BR 800 green touch industries backpack holder blower holder um, yeah works great uh, I don't really use this very much because it's heavy and when it's like mow and go season in the summertime you want something more like uh, the BR 600 that I have over here um, but when it comes leaf season this guy is awesome. It will push a pile of leaves. One thing I do like about it that it has that my other blower doesn't have is that side start. Um, I've heard people say that, you know, they don't work very well, they break, whatever, you know. I I've heard a bunch of stuff about that. I've not had that happen to me yet. 
Um, I kind of enjoy it when somebody's trying to talk to me. I just turn it off and then turn it back on. I don't have to put it down and do that whole circus routine. But uh, next, yeah, grease gun. Don't care about the grease gun, but this holder, super cool. This thing is like, this thing locks tight, by the way. I don't know where I got it, but it's called Lock and Lube. For any of you guys looking for something to do with your grease gun, it was always in my way. Just saying. Um, handheld blower. This is a Husky. Got that. I was going to use that for uh, like tight spots when I was trimming hedges and stuff. Like I couldn't get in there with the big backpack blower or whatever. And I was going to get back there and blow out all the trimmings with the little blower. That never happened. I used this literally just to blow out the back of this trailer. Um... It is what it is. I do like the little blower though. It's got a little bit of power for its size. Um, pole saw. I think this is the HT105. Let me double check. Um, yeah, HT105. Love that. No problems out of it. It extends pretty far. Um, just one more tool that lets me add something on to basically my business card. Now I can do tree limbing, you know. So, works great. Love it. Uh, Again, Green Touch Industries, um, trimmer rack, and you know the first thing I want to say about this to anybody that's thinking about doing a enclosed trailer setup, you're cramped for space. Take this thing and flip it vertically to where the heads are all going down. These, the engine and stuff's on top. It will save you some space on your wall. I wish I would have done that. I'm probably going to do that when it's, you know, uh, the season's over and I can just take this whole thing apart. I'm going to do the whole puzzle game and put it all back together. Hopefully better, but I can't guarantee anything. As long as it all fits in here, right? Oh, I missed the, the rack over here. Pit Posse rack. I get most of these other racks and stuff that I have. Minus one. I got one on Etsy awesome they did like a custom engraving steel thing anyways but they all pretty much come from jegs online um they seem to be the guys i keep going back to and they keep having racks that fit my needs so anyways that thing um trimmers all everything husvarna um i did research and it pretty much came down to um the Echo or the Husqvarna's, I was not going to do still anymore because uh, with the four mix engines and all that, they're, they're heavy over a long period of time. Um, and they still also have the head that you have to pop off, wrap it up. I understand you can get the adapter and get the speed feed head and all that. But, like, they're just heavy. I'm sick of them. I I'm over it with the still weed eaters. So, I decided after reading about them and everything to switch to the Husqvarna's, the 525 series. I've got an uh, 525L, and this is an LST, the heavier duty one. And then this is their 525ES, the Edger. Uh, all commercial grade. I did switch the head over here on this one to the ballard uh like the blade head i don't remember what it's called but it's got the three blades um actually works pretty good wish the blades lasted longer they're kind of um they're kind of weak but it's still a cool feature to have um and, and it does serve its purpose don't ever try to edge with them on concrete because you will literally have no blade left when you're done they don't hold up at all so ask me why i know that Anyways, uh, T-Tools. So, oh, one of the best things I ever purchased, um, hands down, is I did get the uh, Echo Bed Redefiner. This thing, awesome. If you're thinking about it, get it. It serves its purpose. It allows you to offer another service. Um, like me, I charge per foot if I have to redefine somebody's bed edge. Um, or if you're making a new bed for somebody, this thing, this thing digs and it's also, it's got a two stroke engine in it. This thing screams, love it. Um, if you're thinking about it, buy it. They are a little bit on the heavier side, monetarily speaking, but buy it. It's worth it. It'll pay for itself quickly. Um, now over to 
my favorite part, the workbench area. Um, built in a toolbox. I think it's just like a craftsman or something. Built it into it. Um, and then on each side, I got pockets that hold things. As you see, I got my spare tire down here. There's actually a tire repair kit. Um, some latex gloves, stuff like that over there. Um, that side, I have the handheld water port. It's pressurized water, guys, in a tank with a little sprayer. Honestly, if you don't know about it, learn about it because let's be honest uh we've all thrown mud on somebody's house or maybe somebody's car rim or something before and you try to go get the hose to wash it off can't quite get it you know this thing it's pressurized you can't it pressurizes when you fill it up with the hose too so like it's not like you have to do anything special um highly recommend this thing i'm not kidding it's literally this is the small one too um, this is an attachment you get for it, uh, to put the nozzle, but, um, as you can see, like, this thing is not big. Um, just walk over, wash stuff off, you know, and, uh, keep it moving. Um, while I'm here, uh, the Vier air compressor, I've got a 440p. If you don't have an air compressor on your truck or your rig, then you are probably having to leave at some point during the season to go deal with a flat tire that you can't fix. So, just saying. Um, oh, coolest thing ever, by the way. Aside from that, man, I forgot. This little pocket over here has like all the cool stuff. Um, Dremel, whatever. That's for sharpening the uh, hedge trimmer blades. This though, I'm just gonna go ahead and say it. We've all had the guy who's like, you know, as soon as you get to wherever your job starts, after you left the gas station or wherever it was, you got breakfast, he's like, man, I gotta go to the bathroom, dude. Can you take me back to it? No. Right? No. We gotta get to work, man. We were just there for 15 minutes getting gas, getting breakfast, all that stuff. And now you have to go? No, go out in the woods. They're like, oh, I can't do that out in the woods, blah, blah. Okay, that's fine. I'll tell you what, I solved that problem. Okay, so it's got its own little carry handle and everything. Check this out. March out into the woods, brother. And you open this guy up. Boom. It's got its own little legs. Check it out. They pop right out. And you can go sit down wherever you want. We are not going to any store for you to go to the bathroom. I even got sani wipes in the truck so you can clean it off when you're finished, friend. Sorry. Obviously that strikes a nerve with me. Y'all know I've probably been through that before, huh? Anyways, let me put this away. But while I'm speaking on it, workbench. Um, smart thing to have, vice. Gotta have a vice, right? Um, how else am I gonna sharpen blades, you know? If, I mean, or whatever it is, you, everybody needs a vice, right? Um, all kinds of spray stuff, chemicals or whatever, you can measure and do your thing, whatever it may be, weeds, grass, you know, people, no, I'm just kidding, but, and moving on to the tools, um, extra belt, uh, staple gun, angle grinder, drill, oscillating tool, impacts, torque guns, I mean, freaking... So, so I got it all. Um, I try to minimize the amount of time I ever have to leave a job site either to fix something or to go get another tool or something to finish a job because time is money and you know if you can minimize that you can make more money and it's worked for me. I don't know what works for y'all but that works for me. Um, didn't quite have enough space in here so had to get one more little toolbox, got it on sale, Harbor Freight. I don't have to tell y'all about Harbor Freight. Um, Two-stroke oil, all kinds of different aerosols, stuff like that. Um, I mean, really, that's mostly it. Oh, you know what? Yeah, fire extinguisher, you know, um, respirator when you're scalping and stuff. And that stuff flies in your face. Oh my gosh. Um, but if we go up, rake, 
And then I got another one back there as well. Um, and then we'll, we'll, we'll go over that part last. Um, and also, I do need to say that the situation I'm in right now, I don't have a garage, unfortunately, working on that. But because of that, I have all these tools, you know. Not everybody's going to need everything I have. Um, if I had it my way, I'd have a garage where I could get some of this stuff off of here, lessen the weight, make my gas mileage a little better. You know what I mean? But um, just saying, you know, so if you're wondering why does he have all of that, that's not literally a necessity in landscaping. There you go. But um, anyways, on to the next thing. Sticker door. Love this. If you guys want to send me stickers, do it. The goal is the entire door completely... You can't see door. That's the whole point, right? Um, moving on. One of the coolest things in this trailer, um, I think, personally, that was the handheld water port I showed y'all. This is a four-gallon water port. I actually mounted this one, um, and then the little nozzle holder as well. And right now, I think it's got like a, I think it's a four-foot hose on it, but I did order a much longer hose. Um, just waiting for that to come in the mail. Right here by the door. You can wash your hands off and stuff, but what this one is going to be great because I got sick of my trailer smelling like dog poo um, from running it over with my mower or stepping in it, you know, and you have no choice but to literally, you know, park your mower. Go get somebody's hose. However, have you ever been in the situation where somebody doesn't have a hose? Yeah, right? So this pressurized water, handle that. Um... These are little mini stools, uh, in case you want to sit down and chill. Gotta have them. Um, for changing flat tires with the trailer, you know, y'all know. Roll up on that, get it done. I do. I put trash down here in the bucket. I also keep gas. Um, I use fertilizer for that little sprayer. Um, that's actually mixed. That one's gas. Um, this is... Ooh. Love this. This is my uh, Husqvarna 550 XP Mark II. Um, if you don't know, you should probably go look it up. Because it's bad. This, this, is not, this is not just any saw, y'all. Anyways, I'm not even going to get into that. But, um, Echo CS2511. Um, this little hand saw, it, you know what? I should just show y'all. This little saw right here weighs 5 pounds. It is actually the smallest gas-powered chainsaw in North America. Sold in North America, right? This thing, oh my gosh. If you don't have one, I highly recommend. It's not a toy. I had a bunch of my friends laughing about it and everything. Like, Lon, why do you have to have that if you've got that chainsaw? And I'm like, guys, y'all want to come to work today and find out with me so they did i showed them you can take trees down with this thing there's a reason why professional climbers keep these things and go up trees and stuff but it's light and um it's got like 22 cc's it screams so moving on from that um over here squeeze in here um Still, this hedge trimmer, what is this? The, I, I think it's the H, this is the HL91K. Um, personally, this might be the best piece of landscaping equipment still makes, in my opinion. More than the BR600 blower. I mean, literally, go-to. It's the go-to. You keep the blade sharp, this thing runs forever, and just the, it's the way it handles. My favorite hedge trimmer. Um... Now, for the little stuff and that, you know, typically breaks your back that you got to get down real low, you don't really want this kind of trimmer because it's long, kind of wieldy for that situation. So, I did get the, um, this is like the new, new Echo, um, I'm trying to remember, oh, the HC2210. Sick. I love this thing. Um, the handle rotates on it. Um, it's got, it's got like vibration springs in it. It's made to dampen down vibration. Um, that was a problem for me. I actually had to have surgery on my hand and elbow recently <clears throat> because powered hand, or excuse me, gas powered equipment, um, and the vibration like gave me severe carpal tunnel to the point to where I couldn't fix it 
unless I had surgery. I, you know, used to wake up in the morning, I couldn't make a fist for an hour. I had to hold my coffee like this. So, think about it, guys. It, it, it will affect you in the long run. I used to think it didn't matter, but nah, that was no fun. Anyways, awesome, awesome hedge trimmer. A lot of power gets it done. Very sharp blades, too. We have a lot of boxwoods here and they've got little bitty leaves this thing makes them look beautiful uh oh i keep ramps as well bam um i actually popped a curb a while back and like broke a screw because i nailed that thing so hard on one of my mowers and it just so happened to be that screw was somewhat important so not doing that again but got some ramps solved that problem um everybody knows the most common go-to uh, best all-around backpack blower of all time, the BR600. Um, I shouldn't have to say much, man. This thing has been around for a while. It is, I mean, it, it gets it done. It's reliable. Pretty much every landscaper's got one for the most part. Um, and then, let's see, weed eater rack, or excuse me, the uh, weed eater string rack. Uh, I think I got this off Ballard. Um, it's not very expensive, but I do recommend you get one of those. Don't leave it sitting in the back, uh, you know, on some kind of horizontal surface. You come in and get your straight, like, you're begging for that thing to fall off and unroll all the cord on the floor. Seen that one. Um, that's that. Uh, the, the sprayers. This goes for the little one I was just talking about, too. Petra Tools great sprayer company um they've got a few different sizes this is a three gallon um they're all electric for the most part i think they have a couple pump sprayers but i i'd be willing to bet they don't even really sell many they might be out of stock because i they, they don't sell those the handheld manual pump sprayers i'm just being honest here but they've got awesome electric sprayers uh backpack hd 3000 listen to it listen to it. this thing's got power check this out I'm just saying, spray whatever I want. A uh, couple more things um, before we end this video, guys. I do want to say, if you've noticed, I use Still, I use Husqvarna. Um, oh, I got Echo. Uh, the only, I mean, I'm not brand loyal to really anything except Bad Boy Mowers because they are just better than all the other ones and they've got a better price point, so you can't really argue with that. But with that being said, on all the other equipment, I'm not brand loyal because everyone's got certain models of certain things that are better than others. It's all about what they put their money into with, you know, R&D. Um, too many people, too many people constantly try to have the argument with me about still, everything still. Well, honestly, y'all, that's how it was for a long time, and I'm pretty sure still got comfortable. And they fell behind in a few categories. However, they do have some things that rock, like that trimmer, um, that blower. But weed eaters, no. And I just think that's the best way to be. You need to do your research before you make a purchase on this stuff. Find out what's best for you. Find out what's best in general. Um, there are plenty of forums and plenty of videos online about every single piece of gas-powered equipment out there. So, if you get something that breaks down or it's a hunk of junk, really, that's your fault because there's just way too many ways you can find out about everything now. Um, anyways, uh, like and subscribe. Um, if you want to find out about my 54 Revolt, I did a review video for that. You can go look for that. It was before this one. Otherwise, thanks guys. Peace.